Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of linear relationships, specifically how we can represent them on a graph, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're talking about linear relationships in math, we're really talking about equations that we're very familiar with. So we're very familiar with uh, something that we might see in the slope-intercept form. Right? And so you could say that if you see an equation and it's in the slope-intercept form, you've got two different uh, variables here. And so we've got our dependent variable and our independent variable. And so you can say that they are related because one causes uh, the other to change. Right? So our independent variable here is our x. And depending on what the x starts as, something happens to it when we get our, you know, our slope, our coefficient here, and then we get our dependent variable. And so this y depends on what happens to the x. And when it's a linear relationship, that means those two are related to each other, the x and the y. And so let's see what some linear relationships look like. And honestly, take a look at the first four letters in that word linear. You can tell that an equation or um, a set of data is linear because it almost looks like a line. Now I'm going to show you a few scatter plots because it doesn't always have to be a straight line. So you can have a set of data in a scatter plot and let's say it kind of looks like this and you're, you're kind of getting a little bit of data that looks like I said a scatter plot and it's kind of moving up and it doesn't really matter how long and thin it is or how short and chunky it is I'll just stop right here and you can tell that there is kind of a trend line right here and you can tell that there's something kind of moving through right there and it's all moving in a straight line. Now that happens to be rising, right? Uh, it could also be something that uh, is just descending a little bit with a slope like this. And you see how these are a little bit more loosely packed. And this is fine as well. You can just kind of visually see that straight line there. So that's also a linear relationship in that set of data. And it could also just be a straight line just straight across. And you might have one or two points that kind of stick out. But for the most part, you can see just a, just a general line that moves through there. So all three of those would be examples of linear relationships. Now, we can show some examples of nonlinear relationships, and you can tell just by that prefix non that we're looking for uh, data sets that do not have linear relationships. So first, you might find a data set here that just uh, doesn't really have any pattern. It's just kind of scattered like this and there's, there's not anything that denotes a line. You can't even tell whether it's moving up or moving uh, to the top right diagonally. So it might just be a, just a complete mess of data. That would be nonlinear. But sometimes you do see some patterns. And so let me show you one, and, and you can probably tell what the issue with this is going to be. Because right now, it's, as I'm drawing it, it's looking like it's linear. But what if I were to do this, make this kind of curve back this way? All right, so it's it's almost like a almost like a question mark here that I just didn't get the bottom to right there, and that's a nonlinear relationship, simply because you can tell it curves, right? It doesn't have to necessarily be an exact straight line, but there needs to be a trend line that moves in just one direction. And the fact that this kind of moves up and then almost doubles back on itself, you see some of these x values are repeated in multiple y's all the way up here. That lets you know it's definitely not a linear relationship. And there's, there's several different ways that, that we could show any kind of um, curly or squirrely or any type of strange data sets would be nonlinear. So if we're looking at linear relationships, uh, look for data that looks like it's flowing in a straight line or something close to a straight line. And then nonlinear, it's going to be either curvy uh, or it's just going to be just completely random like this data set over here on the left that doesn't have any type of trend line at all.